Is anybody missing their grandpa? Cause we think we found him. He is in the final of Melody Festival in 2015 and his name is Hassa Anderson with the song Green and Gold Forests. You guys, what are you thinking? I'm thinking this I... is a great toilet break opportunity. I'm like, it's perfect. He's last in the final. That means I can leave straight after Maria. I can go to the toilet, be back in time for the voting. I'm just like, this is such a great thing for SVT actually. This is like such a good scheduling point for them, I think. Excellent choice. <laughs> I think he's world's favorite grandpa. I mean, he's so lovable and so sweet, and I want to hug him. I want him as my grandpa, even though my grandpa is lovely. But I think every little child wants him. Um, but that's the only positive thing. Talking about the song, there's nothing positive. It's just... Well, I want to be nice. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this is not retro. This is 18th century barnyard. I don't know what's going on. I'm not Swedish, so I don't get the dance band sound, but I know that I don't ever want to hear it again. So I'm not even going to talk about the song because it's a train wreck, but I'm going to talk about Hasa. And Hasa is really sweet. Like when him and Kristen Amparo were in the second chance round, they were hugging each other. They were really sweet. They weren't being vicious. It was like, we both want to do well. I support you. You support me. It was like he looked at her and said, I see you. It was just so sweet. And I'm really glad he made it. He was performing, you know, in front of um, his home crowd slash area in Helsingborg. And they really came through. He brought the house down. I mean, the song is crap, but he's got this woman on the violin who's doing her thing, and he's so happy, and he just wants to be there. I find it difficult to say anything bad about him. Um, and, you know, he even said in an interview with Wooby Blogs, he's like, I really want to bring the house down. And I'm just like, oh, do you mean the barn? But, like, he did it. <laughs> and all those horses are going, hey, in support, and I'm supporting him, too. Yay! I mean, I just have, like, yeah, old McDonald style fears this. Like, he is cute. He does have that whole, like, Colonel Kentucky or whatever the guy that's in charge of KFC is called. Like, he has that quality to him. But just, the song is just very lightweight. I see this and like, having a bad result on the scoreboard, which is no reflection on Hassa, just on the fact that he's entered a really old-style song in what is essentially a modern pop song competition. Um, and, yeah, I think, like, Fangirl is going to be more focused on Eric and Mans and having lovely sexual times with them than they are on, like, quality time with the grandpa. My fear is this, his age demographic, they ain't got phones, y'all. They can't vote. Um, they have to send their votes by pigeon. And unfortunately, <laughs> SBT does not accept votes by pigeon. Well, we love our grandpa, but do we love his song? Guys, time for scores. Uh, mm. Like I said, I want to be nice. So no zero, but a one. <laughs> I'm going to be nice and say 1.5 as well, because he is like adorable. I just, the song is a pile of shit. Sorry. I'm feeling real generous, and I like this way more than JTR, and I gave them a zero, so I'm gonna give him a three, because <sighs> whereas JTR annoys me, he makes me go, aww, and so that's one, two, three for granddaddy.